1953, Earth experienced a war of the worlds. Common bacteria stopped the aliens, but it didn't kill them. Instead, the aliens lapsed into a state of deep hibernation. Now the aliens have been resurrected, more terrifying than before. In 1953, aliens started taking over the world. Today, they're taking over our bodies. Don't be scared. This won't hurt you. Okay. These workers are loading cargoes of death onto these trucks. Sound like sensationalism? You'll wish it was. These steel drums are filled with what they call in the business hot stuff. Radiation waste. Radiation waste that will remain lethal for over a thousand centuries. Their destination, a government toxic waste storage facility high in the mountains at James Pass, over 800 miles away. And if there's an accident along the way, the thought is positively chilling. These and other shipments are rolling time bombs on our nation's highways. Get out of here before they bust us. The logistics of this operation are complex. Complex or not, our war can be won if we are able to move among the Earthlings undetected. Be thankful that they're childishly casual with their nuclear materials. Stealing what we need should pose no problem. True. But we still haven't found a secure location to revive more of our sleeping brethren. Nor do we have an adequate supply of suitable humans whose bodies we might use. One problem at a time, comrades. It's a puzzle with many pieces. We deal with the nuclear material first. Hi. Yo, Blanche. How's it going? They cheating you okay? Because if they ain't, you send them to see good old Sly. Yo, to give the situation a look, see. Who's that they you're always talking about? The bad guys. They're all bad guys to you, Simon. Is that your problem? <laughs> well, somebody's got to be on guard, right? Mr. Burden would like his copy of 40B. Ah. The hazardous waste shipment schedule comes out tomorrow, Thursday. You know that, Blanche. 40Bs have been coming out on Thursday ever since the Hoover administration. Today, if I'm not mistaken, is Wednesday. Mr. Burden is going out of town tomorrow. Blanche. What do you want me to do? Give me a copy of 40B. Blanche, Blanche, Blanche. I can't. I wish I could, but... Wow. of chaos. In the original Greek, chaos and creation were the same word. Yes, I think they were the same word. But I need order. You are absolutely and totally undisciplined. I'm very suspicious when somebody is absolutely and totally anything. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Happens to be a very rare character flaw. Children! Children! Problems? 
We are working on some cell-facing studies. We each have our designated tasks. However, Dr. Cosmic Procrastinator over there has repeatedly failed to deliver his data, which leaves my work dead in the water. Dr. McCullough's having a little trouble being open-minded and flexible about my work habits. Correction, your lack of work habits. Suzanne, no doubt you would prefer a machine, but alas, we are all too human. Exactly what is that supposed to mean? That is supposed to mean that what makes us interesting people, unique and special in our own way, should be encouraged, supported, and fought for. Not homogenized so we're all the same. Take Norton, for example. And if I'm elected, i Which brings I'll... me to another point. How do you expect anyone to sleep with you buzzing around all night long? Buzzing? I don't buzz, I pace. Pacing helps me think, always has, always will. But my bedroom is right over your pace track. Uh, an accident of architectural karma. Huh. It's like living in a mental ward. I choose to take that as a compliment. As do I. Better late than never. That's it. So why did I have to go through all this to get it? You never did. Suzanne, if you go with the flow, you'll live a lot longer. Trust me. We have an incoming transmission from General Wilson. It's important. Our master's voice. Apparently, the Department of Transportation computer was accessed. The top secret list of hazardous waste shipments was copied. We have one dead and one missing. It's the aliens. Based on? Based on experience. And my gut. Three, that's not good enough, Doctor. We've seen this form of mutilation before. We know they have a need for radiation. It's them. Why do they have to mutilate people? Because it's war, Suzanne. And we're the enemy. There are thousands of employees in the Department of Transportation. Any one of them could have done it. I've seen this type of thing before, doctors, in Vietnam. Fighting an enemy that you can't see. You don't know who the hell is who. Maybe we should ask them to fight fair. That's not funny, Mr. Drake. I think the question is now, what do we do? We wait for the other shoe to drop. <laughs> Doesn't it scare you driving that hot stuff? There ain't a load of life can scare me. He left his cigarettes on the plutonium. <laughs> How did you guys get into driving hazardous material anyway? They spells it M-O-N-E-Y. They pay us like we're hauling the crown jewels or something. <laughs> it's great. How about you? Well, he told me we'd get laid. Ladies. Ladies. Said ladies. Does it work? I'm a little nervous just walking near these trucks. What, what's in the drums, anyway? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't know what the hell's in there. But it's not as if we're going to open them up and look inside now, is it? No way! <laughs> well, you've both been a lot of help. Our pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Bye. She's crazy about you. Loser buys in James Pass? You're on. Did you get what just happened between those trucks? I don't know. What's the big deal? 
I'm not sure. I just know it was the strangest thing I ever saw. Just hope you got it. What if I did? Then we have the story of the century. I have my shot at network. Program the supercomputer to recognize keywords and record them off police band radios, television, commercial radio, ham, shortwave, you name it, nationwide. Keywords? You know, words like aliens, flying saucers, creepazoids, you know, words like that. Fascinating idea, Norton. But couldn't this have at least waited until morning, Mr. Drake? Well, since we're up, did it work? Bizarre. That's one of my keywords. There's something really bizarre going on here. There's something bizarre going on everywhere, at least. That's why Who exactly is this? It seems to be a reporter signal story back to her station. I know it, a really big story. Elise, for God's sake. Please, Roy, let me go after those trucks. Okay, Elise, let me see the tape again. Touch it in, Alex. Impressive. I think it's remarkable. I think that's an understatement. With all due respect, technology is impressive, yes. The data, however, is at best inconclusive. It's just a series of meaningless, blurry images. Good night. Who was that guy? Can you enhance this image digitally? That's a computer download in the woods. Enhance the image digitally? material was better. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have the first photographic record of an alien hand. Structurally, it is consistent with the data we have. I'm convinced. This is worth pursuing. Simply stated, how do we get that tape from a reporter without tipping our hand? I say we just go ahead and ask her for it. Tell her as little as we can get away with and swear her to secrecy. Dr. McCullough, she's a reporter. She'll swear to an oath of secrecy, and then we'll see it on the 6 o'clock news. I think we should go through legal channels to obtain the tape. That's our idea, Colonel. We don't have enough time. I'm surprised no one has suggested we break in and steal it. I always love it when you guys do that. I can just see the headlines on that one. What if we had my uncle call? No, no, that would create suspicion. Wait a minute. You're absolutely right. Anything we tell her about who we are is going to make her suspicious, right? So, let's not make her suspicious. Let's lie. Uh, so how are you going to spend the three million dollars you've just won? I I'm going to buy some dogs, thousands of them. Buy them some food, some rawhide chips for them to chew. I'm going to get me a whole lot of dogs. A lot of dogs. Uh, well, that's great. Thank you both a lot. <laughs> Is this going to be on television? Yeah, Channel 6 at 5 o'clock. Well, thanks again. Goodbye. Miss Elise Conway. Yes? I'm Lieutenant Colonel Paul Ironhorse. Yes? I'm from the documentary division of the USIA, 
And we're just thrilled that you've even considered doing this six-hour investigative report. You know, we've been watching your work locally, and, well, we feel you're absolutely perfect for this assignment. Colonel Ironhorse, please excuse me. Excuse me. Miss Conway, HRH Blackwood, GAO. I'm afraid the uh, energetic colonel may have spoken out of turn. We are considering you for this investigative series, but... Now, you can stand to make maybe a quarter of a million dollars Colonel, here, please! That's enough. <clears throat> Miss Conway, I've got two questions for you. One, would you consider doing a hard-hitting journalistic series for the government? <laughs> well, uh, depending on the details, of course, uh, yes, I'd be very interested. Good. Number two, we haven't seen any of your real investigative reporting yet. Just some features and human interest stuff. Do you have anything with a little more grit to it? Well, there is some raw footage. Um, an expose we've been doing on toxic waste disposal facilities. That sounds great. <laughs> Good. What's going on here? We have a video tech on board. He's copying your tape so we can show it to our selection committee. What's all this about? Miss Conway, this may be your chance for the Rosenthal Award. So, what's the scoop? I think I was just hustled. What do you mean? I'm not sure. <laughs> I need to find out where those radiation trucks went. What for? Well, whoever those people were, they were very interested in what went on at that truck stop. So am I. Do we have the license numbers of those trucks? We got something better. We got the numbers on the roofs, and since we are in the news business, we can get our choppers from our affiliates in Fresno and Sacramento and get them to check out the major roads. You are a genius. Yeah. Beaten seems tailor-made for our purposes. Away from their cities, off their main highways. And best of all, it's completely abandoned. abandoned for long comrades we must begin transporting the burial drums containing our sleeping brethren to this location immediately the puzzle is almost complete yes except for the last most important piece we still need human bodies many human bodies Welcome to the Bean Supper. Well, once again, I think the ladies' auxiliary deserves a big hand for the wonderful work they've done in organizing this month's supper. Hmm? <laughs> 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 
Now, a few short announcements. Sorry to interrupt. Federal Bureau of Investigation. For reasons of national security, I'm afraid we're going to have to evacuate this area. There's no need to be alarmed. If everyone remains calm, there'll be nothing to worry about. We have everything under control. I believe your church has its own buses. Oh, yes, we do. We'll be commandeering them. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's nothing to worry about. We're being asked to evacuate the area. Frank, would you get the keys to the buses, please? If we could please hurry. Hi, folks. Come on in. Get ready. Lots of room in the bus. That's okay. Yep, we'll take care of you. You'll be home in no time. Nothing to worry about. Come on. Here we go. Excuse me. You're excused. Thanks for dropping by. Have a nice day. I hate to ask this, but why do you stand on your head? It relieves the force of gravity on my organs. The body is two-thirds water, Suzanne, just like the Earth. Over time, the organs sink to the bottom of your stomach, and standing on your head reverses that process. You should try it. You could use it. Thank you very much, but my organs are just fine. Oh, I'm sure you have wonderful organs, Suzanne. Oh, Iron Horse heard from General Wilson. Why didn't you tell me? What do you think I've been waiting for? Oh, Harrison. I've been thinking I'd like to expand my area of alien research. Good idea. Go for it. Excuse me. Wouldn't you like to know what direction I'm taking? Suzanne, I believe in giving people who work with me their own head. You'll just have to make your own decisions. I have no problem with making decisions. Harrison! The message from General Wilson. In my experience, it is not only customary, but mandatory to discuss any changes in direction. Your apparent indifference to my work makes me feel like I'm not sure why I'm here. Suzanne, you are an integral part of what's happening here. And the last thing I want is to make you unhappy. Now, you are used to being part of a research team, working together, everybody interfacing. I come from a different tradition. My model is a scientist who goes for three weeks without sleeping in order to solve a certain problem. It's a solitary process. I can't do anything about it. Unfortunately, it does affect how I relate to your work, and for that, I'm sorry. Okay, I can appreciate that. Good. Now, you see how well we're getting along? This is a perfectly balanced, high-tech throwing tomahawk, a modern-day version of my people's most lethal weapon. I had it designed to my own specifications. Do you think less of me if I don't have a tomahawk, Colonel? Do you think any less of me because I'm not a bleeding heart liberal like you, Mr. Drake? A little. What are uh, those marks there? Those are coups. Coups? Victories. Well, that sounds ominous. Washington able to locate those trucks? That's a negative, Doctor. Nothing showed on the satellite photos? Well, apparently the powers that be haven't approved the release of any of the super high resolution satellite photography yet. Why would they be so uncooperative? Well, these are professionals, Doctor. If they don't feel that it's in the best interest of the United States to release those photographs, then they damn well shouldn't release those photographs. And if the aliens are successful and wipe every human being off the face of the earth because they didn't release those photographs, they'd still be right? Look, Blackwood, I pushed this as far as I possibly could. Personally, I find groveling to be quite effective. Different strokes, Doctor. We're wasting our time. Now, you told us we were going to have your total support. But you people don't understand. My hands are tied. There must be another way to solve this problem. Gertrude, pace. The optimum way is surveillance satellites. That's what they're there for. The trucks have numbers painted on their roofs. We could locate them easily. We've got to try another approach. I know they have this data. They're data collection freaks. Dr. McCullough is right. We have to try another approach. Horton. How would you feel about three to five in the federal penitentiary? Talk to me, Doc. 
I'd be very surprised if we couldn't put the combined brain power in this room together to figure out a way to tap into the satellite systems package and generate our own photographs. Harrison, you got one strange head, but I like it. <laughs> Gertrude, home base. We got work to do. Blackwood, we're talking a violation of security, criminal trespass, possible treason. Colonel, Colonel, the government is the people, right? That's our information in there. We're just going to pay it a little visit. Officially, I haven't heard any of this. Harrison, you can't be Wait serious. Wait a minute, Colonel. Isn't the planet being threatened by aliens serious? Isn't the elimination of every life form on Earth serious? Wouldn't we be negligent if we had the capability of getting this information and we didn't do it? I rest my case. Phil, Elise Conway. Station said you were trying to get a hold of me? You did? Uh-huh. That's great. <laughs> I owe you, Phil. I owe you big. Thanks. For once, everything is proceeding according to plan. Yes. With new human hosts arriving every hour. These pathetic Earthlings have even less intelligence than our own planet's vegetation. Our own planet. If only we could see it one last time. Erase those thoughts from your mind, comrade. Our planet is already well into its final death rattle. You must remember that this planet is our home now. As it will be home to those on the way. Our colonists are relying upon us to be strong. The three of us. Of course. I must remember to deal with what is, not with what might have been. I appreciate your patience, comrades. My lapse will not be repeated. We have much to be grateful for. Within 24 hours, we will have increased our numbers by twofold. Perhaps we should inform those on the way of our progress. Yes, they will be pleased. Very pleased. USA. Why don't you go steal some generic small town footage? You got it. Okay. Oh, <laughs> you scared me. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to welcome you to Eaton. And to let you know that we'll be having services on Sunday at 8. Everyone's invited. Well, good. Thank you. Harrison, with all that map shuffling, do you have any idea where we are? You happen to be talking to one of the men who just broke into the Defense Department computer, changed a few commands here and there, and got us hard copies of the satellite surveillance showing the trucks we're looking for. Of course I know where we are. I knew it. We're lost. We'll see some landmark soon, or see somebody, or maybe a phone. There must be something on these photographs. It's criminal that our Defense Department computers are that easy to access. They're not. Norton is a genius. I'm sure we're going the right way. I'd bet money this is the road. You're on. Ten dollars if you don't know what the next town is. Okay, we should be coming up to... Beaton? Beaton? Where have I heard of Beaton before? Kind of off the beaten track, isn't it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you all right? I'm having breakfast. The sun is moving across the table. I'm reading the newspaper. Yeah, that's it. Beaten. Radiation Town, USA. Closed due to high levels of radiation. This whole town was evacuated. The government had an atomic lab here in the 60s. The radiation material was improperly stored. It seeped down to the water table, and they closed this town down, and they moved all these people out. Excuse me. I, I hope you don't think I'm prying, but exactly what is the tuning fork routine? I was doing some memory research. This is a retrieval technique. Now, where did I put that Geiger counter? Conway. Remember us? Uh, how did the drive go? Smooth as silk. Uh, I've, I've got a couple of calls to make. Why don't I catch up with you guys later? What you, what's going on here? Don't be scared. This won't hurt you. Something's wrong with this Geiger counter. I'm getting extraordinarily high radiation readings, way beyond the normal ambient readings I would expect in a town of this kind of history. Harrison, that can't be the way to fix it. Watch out, there's someone coming. Let's take a walk. Big trouble here. What happened? Here we go. Well, I'm going to ask for you to see the video. Come on, right? There you go. Come on. These people have aliens inside them? Your life immortal. Your life immortal. Just a hunch. Your life immortal. Your life immortal. Your life immortal. dressed like this. I feel like a jerk. Somehow I think the sight of you choppering into town in full battle dress might arouse a little suspicion. I love the knees. Where are the aliens? They're all around us. Now, are you sure these are aliens? All I know is this town is supposed to be abandoned, and the Skyker counter is going nuts. Mile, Colonel. Shall we? How is it? It's hot. It's real hot. Check out 
those suits. They're feds. So what's your plan, Dr. Reed? Just gonna waltz in there? My plan is embarrassingly simple. I take Suzanne's station wagon, and I drive down that alley, and I hit those cans. Those two guards come over and help, and then the colonel, as he likes to say, wastes them, and we're in. You're kidding. He's kidding. Doctor, I do believe that this is my department. Job's worth doing. It's worth doing well, I always say. Now, are you sure that you want to go inside? This is a major alien operation. I wouldn't miss this for the world. I want to see what's going on in there. Would you blackwood.
regular assembly line in there. They were shocking those poor people into submission and turning them into monsters. We've got to wake these bastards up before they possess any more innocent victims. Okay, so let's run down our office. Good, go. I'll call in an airstrike. Got to be kidding. We can't even get surveillance photos from them, and you want to call in napalm? I'll do it myself. I've got enough explosives here. I'll blow this alien factory sky high. And blow the radioactivity into the atmosphere right along with it? I don't think so, Colonel. Quick, we have intruders! Stop them! did everything we could. It's not good enough, Susan. He's right. We keep losing like this. We're dead meat on this planet. They must have revived a thousand of them. And now they're out there. They're out there among us. side of the news apparently it's that time of year again our station has received numerous local reports of quote an invasion by aliens from another planet we checked with nearby Goodwin Army Base and public relations officers there have confirmed that military personnel were involved in routine training exercises at the time of the alleged incident so far no aliens have come forward to dispute these reports but our door is open is yours Thank you. 